大家好，我是来自马来西亚的 Winter。今天呢，我在这里想跟大家分享一下威美家公司的这个威力修产品。为什么我要跟大家分享呢？是因为这个产品啊，可以说是救了我半条人命。哇，这个半条人命听来说很很神奇了哈、哦。事情是这样子的，在今年的二月二十四日，我不幸的给这个黑斑蚊子咬到，那么就染上了这个骨骨痛热症。那么呢，我就进医院医治了八天，在医治期间呢，医生也不允许我们吃任何其他药物或者是保健食品的，除了是医院本身是配给我们的了啊。那么这八这八天里，坦白的讲，我的身体真的很弱，而且这个血小板的技术是很低很低的，所以医院是要啊、呃、把我这个血小板技术提升了之后，呃，才可以给我出院的，因为血小板。就是呃，计算我们的那个身体里面的抵抗力、免疫力是多强嘛？哦，那么我虽然我出了院，我还是身体状况非常的弱，连讲话都不大有气力。两天过后，我看情况不是很对，我就去这个验血中心做个验血报告。成绩一出来，哇，吓到！因为我的血小板技术是超低的。那么当时我就有两个想法：一就是到回去医院那边看医生，怎样帮我，又重新重重新这个呃，把这个血小板技术弄回起来，变成我才有这个抵抵抗力嘛。第二，我忽然想到。为什么我不试试看这个威力修呢？因为它本身就是很强的这个呃抗氧呃机来的嘛。我立刻打开两包，平常我是喝一包一包的哈，我就打开两包，立刻喝下去。去几个小时之后，我自己本身就觉得我的哎，我的身体状况好像好一点哦。那么第二天、第三天，我也是这样子喝，每天喝两包。三天过后，我再去这呃这个验血报告中呃呃验血中心去做个报告，成绩出来后啊，蛮理想的，而且我自己本身就感觉得到到的嘛，我的身体状况、我的抵抗力是好很多，而且讲话也可以大声点了。哦，接着下来的十天，我都是每天喝两包，过后我的身体就，呃，很自然、很很自然的方式下，呃，强壮起来了。我想跟大家讲的就是哦，这个血小板的技术如果是太低呢，意思是说我们身体是。很低很低的抵抗力，所有任何细菌啊，这个呃新冠肺炎啊，这些来侵袭我们的时候是没有抵抗力的，很危险的哈、哦。所以呢，这个微力秀帮我提升了到了这个好的水平啊。所以这么好的产品。呃，而且救了我半条人命，我我在这里真的想跟大家分享分享一下，而且这个产品将成为是我一生的保健食品、保健饮品，希望大家也是受益，谢谢。大家好 ，Hi, Grand, Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Doctor Red Dinner. Okay, before we start, okay, let us do a sound check. Uh, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please press one, one, one. Thank you. Okay, 非常好。好，那我们在开始之前呢，我们来做个测试。可以听得到的话呢，那就按一一一。啊，我看到很多呃
们都啊、uh, 打了一一啊，证明可以听得到我的声音。好 ，It's our great honor to have invited a doctor Abraham, uh, and everyone into this uh conference on this beautiful after Thursday afternoon. Today is a working day, and yes, we are seeing a lot more people coming in. So, uh, it's great to see that, and uh, this shows your enthusiasm in knowing more about the products and building a business. I'm Vincent, and I will be your main host and translator for today. Uh, I, we today we are going to discuss a very hot topic, okay, recently, and that is diabetes. Uh, as more and more people are getting it, I'm sure many of you would like to know how you can actually prevent them. And after this, we may have some uh, uh frequently uh, uh, you can actually do some question for doctors for him to answer. Okay, so you let's uh, you can get really them in English, and then we try our best to answer them. Uh, today is a uh, lovely day. It's all the evening. That uh, is also a normal working time. Especially thank you for being here today. Uh, uh, this lovely day, uh, to come to the evening. 到线上来聆听我们的会议课程。现在也有很多伙伴啊，顾、呃、客也在开始上班了。那我们以后呢，可能会安排呃这个医生的课程在呃晚上，我们会在另外的通知了啊、呃，因为这样的话会更呃让大家更多伙伴可以受益。呃，那呃你们的参与呢，也证明了你们呃的对这个产品的知识啊，还有就是对我们的事业啊啊的。呃决心还有就是热忱，呃，我这边沈是今天的中啊、呃、主持人，还有也是中文翻译，让我特别荣幸邀请到呃医生和大家一起讨论目前目前就是比较呃比较比较热门的一个话题就是糖尿病，哦，那呃我相信也有很多呃伙伴跟顾客们想了解到如何去预防它，那我们在会议结束之前呢，我们会。有一些呃，会开放一些问题啦，给给你们呃，给你呃，给你们去问医生啊、呃。但是先准备好啊，以、呃、英文的问题准备好，这样的话医生会比较容易了解。Before we start, okay, I would like to give a short introduction about Dr. Abraham. I believe there are new customers、uh, in today's session. Doctor is our is our product consultant and has and has been in the medical field for more than. Uh, Forty years. He you used to work in clinic, he used to work in the hospital, and he also has been in the direct sales industry for more than eighteen years. So, uh, he's really experienced, and we are really grateful to have him with us. Uh, he has been with KMA Life for more than ten years. Okay, and he has been busy conducting talks online, off and offline for KMA Life. Okay, he truly believes in holistic approach, keeping your body healthy. Such is the best person in the company to share with you about our BMB Life products. Ah, 那我相信今天也有一些呃新呃一些新的顾客啊，那我就来做一个简短的介绍啊，给医生。医生是我们的产品顾问啊，并也在呃的医务领域啊和医院担任医生超过了四十年了。呃，他也在过去的十八年里呃一直很活跃的在我们的直销的行业。并也在呃，我们的公司呢担任产品顾问，已经超过了十年哦。他坚信呢，用整体的方式来保持身体健康，因此他对我们的产品是非常非常了解的，也是分享产品的最佳人选。OK， 呃、uh, ，without further ado，OK，let、okay, us give our warmest applause。OK， to welcome Dr. Abraham， Dr. Please。Uh, doctor, doctor, I need uh, you need on the mic. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. Is it is it loud enough? Can you hear me? Yes, it's loud enough. Okay, okay. Uh, can I start? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, doctor. Okay, okay. Um, a very good afternoon for all of you who are here. Uh, this afternoon, I thought uh, maybe we could start uh, a little bit on something that all of us should know. Uh, that is about. 大家下午好。那呃，今天呢，我我们开始的时候呢，我想我想跟大家分享一下，就是可能一些大家都知道的常识
the uh, all of us know someone or who has a relative who has diabetes uh, next to the coronavirus this seems to be a pandemic now uh, it is interesting to know that rural Chinese in China have the lowest incidence of diabetes in the world. Uh, this is this is not true for Chinese in Malaysia or Singapore. Uh, what is diabetes? I think all of us have actually read a little bit either on Google or booklet or someone has explained diabetes to us. I want to surprise you by saying we don't know what diabetes is. In fact, diabetes is a disease that makes you age faster. We have many signs for diabetes. One of the first things is the sugar in the blood starts going up. Uh, that is a sign of early sign of diabetes, but not diabetes itself. In fact, diabetes starts much earlier. There is something that goes on in the body that makes the body not being able to convert food to energy in an efficient way. So what is the first sign of diabetes? The only thing for sure that we have is to check the blood sugar. Now, if you are not a known diabetic and you want to check, the best time to check your blood sugar is two hours after a normal meal. If, if you are already a diabetic, then you need to check your blood sugar before taking food. Please remember that when you do a blood test, it shows you the sugar at that time only. Uh, now we have another test that will tell you whether your blood sugar has been high over the previous two to three months. Uh, 
So for a known diabetic, it is better to do the test once every three months. So now uh, if somebody is diagnosed to be a diabetic, he has to go through a few steps. The first step is to make changes in your diet and lifestyle. If that is not enough, then you have to go on to take medication. If you have to take medicine, it doesn't mean that you give up on your diet and lifestyle. Medicine is an addition to diet and lifestyle. If you don't change your lifestyle and diet and keep taking medicine, you will land up with insulin injections. Uh, what steps can I take to prevent diabetes? It is the same steps that a diabetic must take in his diet and lifestyle. Uh, now, if you don't uh, keep your diabetes or blood sugar down, long term, there will be a lot of complications. I said earlier that diabetes makes the whole body age faster. The first things that may crop up is effects to your eye, your heart, and your kidney. It doesn't affect all the organs the same way. Some organs are affected more than other organs. For some people, the organ that gets damaged most is the kidney and they have to start doing dialysis. For some people, the eyes are affected and they have to go for laser treatment. For some others, it is the heart that gets affected. Uh, in all the complications from diabetes, if you start being careful, you can reduce the complications, you cannot reverse it. So diabetes is best avoided from the beginning. Now, how do we do that? We have to tackle it by diet and lifestyle. 
那我们应该要如何去预防它呢？从我们的饮食习惯还有生活习惯开始。I need to say something before this. All our bodies are different. 我需要呃，在啊，我需要说一些啊，我们的我们的身体呢，呃，都是不一样的，每个人的身体都不一样的。For some of us, we have to take only a little bit of precaution. For others, you have to take a lot of precautions because the body, our bodies are different. 嗯，有一些人呢，啊，可以很轻松的啊，就可以预防它，但有一些人。点点错误呢，就很容易看到会有病情发生。The number one thing to、uh, modify is what we eat。第一个啊，能够调整的，我们都能够能够做的，就是我们饮食的吃的东西。The many people say how to cut down the food。很多人说我们要如何减少我们食量呢？ I usually tell them, don't reduce your food intake. Ah, then I will tell them, you don't need to reduce your food intake. What do we do? You don't reduce the volume. You change the type of food you eat. We don't need to reduce our food intake. We need to change the type of food we eat. We don't need to reduce our food intake. We need to change the type of food we eat. We don't need to reduce our food intake. So instead of Uh, carbohydrates like rice and whey take more vegetables. Um, uh, is we can reduce, is uh, our diet, uh, meat, uh, bread, uh, uh, these more protein, uh, more protein, uh, more protein, uh, more protein, uh, more protein, Cut down the amount of food you take, even the good food. Um, 就是减少一些呃，减少那些主食啊。对。How much to cut down? I would say ten percent is enough. 啊啊，那那我们的饮食习惯呢？我们减少大概百分之十就好了。就是我们吃的那个量，如果你要你要减少。Any food that you feel is harmful, that one you cut down by twenty percent. 那你觉得你什么健康的、健康吃的对身体不太好的那些食物啊、零食啊，你就减少百分之二十。Now, when I say any food that you know harmful, by that I mean any food that your body find it difficult to process. 啊，对，那呃，怕我刚才说那些你觉得呃不良的食物嘛，啊、呃，我我的意思就是说啊、呃，那个吃进去你感觉很难吸收啊，或者是吃了一点舒服那些啊，那些你就少吃一点。Like for example, some people uh cannot tolerate milk or cheese. The best thing is reduce it to a minimum or don't take. 啊。就好比如说，有一些人啊、呃，有适合喝牛奶或者吃乳酪，有一些乳糖不耐症的，啊、哦，就就可以少吃一些哦，或者是完全不要不要去吃它。Now, how can we make out the food that doesn't、uh, suit us? 那我们应该要怎么样知道什么食物适合我们呢 ？If you take any food. And you find that you feel more full than you expected to be. That food is not ideal for you. Ah, 那如果是说呢，你吃了这些食物，你感觉很快就饱了啊，或腻了，那这个就不合适你了。这个食物不合适。Any food that you take and you feel more energetic, that's the right food for you. Ah, 那如果是说呢，你吃了以后，呃。吃的那个食物，你感觉哎呀，非常舒服，非常更多能量，有力做事。哎，这个有这个食物就合适你了。Now food varies quite a lot, so don't be worried about taking only vegetarian food or only soya bean or any particular kind. 哎，我们呢吃饮食，我们吃的食物要要均衡啊，不要只是单单吃一个呃。
猪菜啦，哦，或者是嗯，或者是豆类的啦。Some people, ah,、uh, if they become vegan or vegetarian, they do well. 有些人呢，他们吃素，哎，他们会哎，身体健康，反而是有进步改善的。Some people don't do well, and therefore they have to take some fish or chicken or something like that. 但是也不是说每个人都合适。那有些人他们纯素食的话呢，啊、呃，可能都啊、呃，他们必须要有一些补充的部分呢、啊。比如说，好像鱼啦，哦，或者是其他的、其他的来补充。Some people need to take pork once or twice a week. 那有些人可能他们需要每一两周，呃，呃，每一周呢吃一两次那个猪肉。Now you try and find the right balance for you. 啊、uh, ，对，你必须要找到你自己的均衡饮食习惯。Uh, the main danger of eating outside is not the food, but the oil. 那我们其实很多时候我们会去打包嘛，或者是外面吃嘛，对不对？那呃，不是说食物不均衡，但是那个问题在于它的油分呐。So when you eat outside, the more soupy food or steam food you take, rather than fried food, it's better. 如果你吃呃，是常吃外面的话呢，我的建议是说你吃多点呃汤类的啊、哦，要吃一些油炸的，尽量少吃一些油炸的食物。So that is mainly about the diet. Maybe I can ask questions. Uh, I can answer questions later. Now that is diet. The next one is lifestyle. 对，刚才我说的是饮食习惯。哦啊，是饮食习惯。接下来我想说的就是我们的生活习惯。Now in lifestyle, you there are few things that you must have. 呃，在我们生活习惯当中，我们有几样是必须要注意的。Number one is rest. 第一是休息，要足够的休息。You must have enough sleep. 要足够的睡眠。If you live Till seventy-five, you would have slept twenty-five years. 如果你活到七十五岁呢，你应该已经睡了二十五年了。Now, if somebody has to spend one third of their life sleeping, now that must be a very important activity. 那如果是说我们吃饮食，我们吃饭嘛，啊、uh, ，我们饮啊，一定要 sleeping, sleeping 呢 ？Sleeping 啊。那那那我们睡眠是三分之一，是三分之一的生活嘛，对不对？那应该那占用了我们三分之一的生活的话呢，那应该是非常重要的。啊、uh, ，That is why babies sleep from twelve to fourteen hours a day。啊，所以你看，小宝宝，小宝宝他们一他们睡眠都是睡十二到十四个小时之间。As, as we get older, we need less。对，我们。越来越大的时候呢，成长的时候，我们睡眠就会啊，我们需要的睡眠相对的就少稍微少一些。The only reason we need less is we we are not growing. 嗯，我们为什么会呃需要越来越少的睡眠呢？是因为我们不需要在啊、呃、成长，我们成成长的程度不是这么是这么大的。We still need enough to recover from our day's work. 我们还是需要睡眠，有足够的睡眠呢，来来恢复我们每天所耗耗去的能量。Those who sleep very little will alter their hormone production. 啊、呃，那如果是你睡非常睡眠非常早的话，你的荷尔蒙呢会有影响哦。These hormones will change in such a way that your body will soon wear out your insulin. 对，那如果你是睡得非常少的话，你的荷尔蒙呢，它会导致你的胰岛素的正常胰岛素的那个可能降低。When insulin production gets worn out, that's when you begin to get diabetes. 对，那胰岛素呢，一旦呢啊、呃、越来越少，甚至不停，甚至停产的时候啊，问题糖尿病的问题可能就会出现。So number one is sleep. Number two in lifestyle is physical activity. 
一，刚才我们做的睡眠；第二就是啊啊，第二就是我们的的我们需要做的一些身体上的一些呃活动。Now most people are working in offices; they don't get enough time to exercise. 呃，那我们很多人现在都在办公室做工嘛，上班嘛。哦、呃，我们对我们运动的机会呢，啊、呃，不大，很少。So you must and uh try to be as active in the office as possible. 那你在办公的时候呢，啊，尽量就是活跃一些。If you get half a chance to get up from your chair, get up. Bend down to your、uh, drawer to pick up things, or if you have to file, go and climb a ladder to file something, or go down to pick something. Keep moving as much as you can in the office. Ah, in 办公的时候呢，尽量有机会找到机会动一下身体呀，啊，就就就去动它。比如说你要弯下腰啦，去收拾你的东西啦，或者是你的。文件呢、啊，在在在一个比较高处，你就去拿一个你的那个楼梯啊，哦、啊，就就就去拿啊，就是主要的目的就是要让你自己呃有有多一点，让你的身体有多一些的运动。嗯 ，If you get a chance, it is better to exercise for a fixed period, at least five to six days a week. 啊，当然，如果是你可以的话呢，一定啊，一定要。尽量抽出一些时间，啊，每个礼拜呢，可能可以运动个五到六天的话，会是非常非常好。You don't have to do the same thing every day. One day it can be walking, another day it can be badminton, third day it can be swimming, fourth day it can be a little dancing, whatever. 嗯，你可以每天都不一样的活动嘛，可以第一天可能是跑步，第二天可能游泳，第三天打羽毛球。哦，那就是你喜欢，最主要是你自己喜欢的那个运动，你都可以去做了。So there are days that you may not be able to go. Ah,、uh, that's okay. You just continue the very next day. 嗯，如果是说有一些时间呢，有些天你没有办法做的话，没有关系，你可以再可以再再去做啊，去运动。Okay. The other thing is a a little bit of a of warning. Some people exercise very heavy. Ah, 那这边呢有一个有一个警告了。有一些人呢，他们就是非常非常的爱运动，然后他们做的运，他们的运动量非常非常高。Ah, over exercising is also bad. Ah, 那如果你是过过量的运运动的话，其实也是不合不好的。When you over exercise, you get too hungry. Ah, 因为你呃你。做太多的运动，你很容易，你很容易感，容易感到饥饿。When you get hungry, you tend to overeat. 啊，那你饿的时候会做什么？你就会吃咯。Uh, <笑> and、uh, the benefit of the exercise is gone because you overeat. You see? 那你做运动不是为了要，不是不是为了要多吃嘛 ？So how much to exercise? 那什么？什么才算是合适的运动量呢 ？How do we, how can we make out for me this much is enough? 啊，那我要怎么知道？我觉得，哎，嗯，多多少还是合适我的呢 ？Every day when you exercise, when you finish, you must be able to feel, 哎呀 ，I could have done more, but I'm stopping here. 啊，那一一个比较好的指标呢，就是，哎，你只不去做运动，你觉得？哎呀，我我我好像还可以再做，但那我停止了。对，那那个就是非常好的一个指标。Many of us, because we feel we can do more, we overdo. 很多时候我们觉得我们可以做更多，所以我们就做了。You must, when you finish exercise, you must be able to say, "Ah, I can come back tomorrow again. No problem." 啊，你做完那个运动的时候，你应该要觉得应该应该要做。好啊，今天今天做的不错，我明天。还还想还可以继续做的啊 ，so especially people who are very heavy, they need to exercise less, that because a lesser amount of exercise can reduce your appetite. 
啊，那、呃、如果你是体重比较重一些的，那还是要做运动，但你的运动量不用非常的多啊，因为你你做运你做运动越多，你吃的东西可能你的食欲就可能会更高。Just like food, you have to uh, do some exercise and fine tune your exercise because you will realize what you enjoy, what is effective for you. 是，就好像食物一样，运动呢，呃，你要你要自己稍微调整一下了。你要做一些你喜欢的运动，那你要找到一些就是你喜欢，然后又合适你。So when it comes to lifestyle, uh, rest and exercise, these two are very important. 那说到我们的那个生活方式呢，休息还有就是运动是非常非常关键的。Now the third part of lifestyle is stress. 第三个呃。第三个要点，我们就是我们的压力呀、啊。Everybody will say reduce stress。每个人都会说减少压力啦。嗯。Uh, my suggestion is don't try to reduce stress。嗯，我的意我的建议是不用不用试着减少压力。Trying to reduce stress is makes you more stressful。要减少压力，可能不知不觉当中你会觉得更有压力。So you must be able to manage your stress. Once you exercise and you sleep enough, you will find that you can manage your stress better. When your sleep is enough, your life, 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 your life. 还在，哎，你会发现你的你在控制那个压力的那方面呢，会会更轻松哦。嗯 ，Only when you rest enough and have a healthy diet, you will be able to manage your responsibilities in a way that doesn't produce too much stress. 是的，那你就是在在刚才我们谈到的提到的就是你的。重量啦，还有就是休息足够的话，你会发现你可以很容易的去掌握啊，你的那个压力可以做好你的职责、你的工作。那这样的话，你的压力就会相对的减少。I also want you to understand that we don't function twenty four hours each time. We, yeah, 我们不是每一个每一天呢，就是呃。Now let's say for today the, there is a lot of work. You didn't get enough to stay at time enough to sleep. You had to go out with the company to eat outside food which didn't agree with you. That's okay once in a while. Ah, 对，如果是有时候你就比较忙的话呢，比较多比较多活动的话呢，感觉累一些，偶尔累一点点没有关系。It is what you do long term. 是，我说我这边比较讲，比较讲，呃，比较重的是那些长期在这种生活的情况下，嗯，能有影响。Your body gets ninety five percent renewed every year. Ninety five percent renew. Renewed every year. Or renew as in R E N E W. That's right. Yeah. 哦，我们。身体，身体，呃，就是每一年呢，呃，有百分之九十五的身体会有更新啊。So what you have now is a different body from last year. 那你现在有的身体呢，其实跟去年的这个身体是状况是不一样的。呃、uh, ，only the face remains the same because people can recognize you. 啊，只有我们的脸部，脸部稍微还是是一样的哈。If your lifestyle is bad, even the face cannot be recognized. Ah, 如果你的生活习惯的方式都不好的话，连你的脸都会有很大的改变。So in a year, if you can follow reasonable advice for nine to ten months, that's already very good. 那如果你是说你在一年呢有十二个月，你有九到十个月呢，呃，生活方式会是比较
合理的，那不是太过操劳的，那那是已经很不错了。Now, just because you miss, uh, you had bad lifestyle and diet for one week, it doesn't mean you drop off completely. That is not to say you have one week you are busy. Your lifestyle and your eating habits are very bad. It means that your diet will affect you very much. So after the one week, you just go back to the original good lifestyle. 嗯，重要的是你过后呢，忙完了以后一定要回回去足够休息啊，足够吃的吃的好啊，啊，这样你身体就很快赶赶赶上。And I'm sure it will happen many times in a year, which is okay. You know? 嗯，那那在我们新新社会嘛，如果你啊、呃，你一年有好很多次都在忙的话，是很正常的。嗯、Now, uh, so that is uh to sum up diet and lifestyle. 那这边就是我我总结一下，就是我们的饮食习惯，还有就是，呃，哎哎，饮食习惯跟生活习惯。Because of the shortcomings in your diet and lifestyle, I mentioned it is good to take a supplement to reduce the bad effects. 是，那因为我们刚才呃有说到嘛，有一些有一些呃，有时候有时候有一些。因素啦，所以我我们啊、呃、一些因素导致可能不能达到做到这么好，我们可以加入哦我们的保健保保健食品来辅助我们的每天的生活习惯。If there is one supplement that I have to take, uh, as a convenience, just one, I will choose Velexin. 那如果是有一个产品呢，呃，可以我要我要我我吃的话，我一定会。使用啊，而且建议大家使用我们的啊威力秀，因为它非常的方便。If you have read up on many other supplements which are very special and you want to take extra, that is fine. But this, I would say, is the basic. 对，那如果你是看到呃有其他的保健食品呢，很特别的，想要尝试的话也可以啊。但是这个啊威力秀呢，是我们基本的，一定是每个人。都需要使用的，因为它会里面有基本的一些，呃，不是基本，应该是讲说是非常完整的营养方呃营养，给我们每天所需要的，每天所我们人类每天所需要的营养，它都它都有。I I want to give you a few reasons why I am saying that。我想有一些，嗯，这里有几个原因，为什么我会这么说 ？Because of the stress level we have today, we need Very high antioxidants. Ah, 对，因为我们最现在我们的现今社会的压力都比较大，所以我们需要很高的那个抗氧化剂。Velexin has the highest antioxidant level per serving for any product in the market. 在在以前世界哈，那个我们威力秀呢的抗氧化剂呢是数一数二的高的。Now the food that we eat lacks. Micro minerals. We every day eat that food is is lacking in the micro minerals. Now, these minerals cannot be synthesized by the plants. They must get it from the soil. Okay. Now, we every day eat these foods, fruits, they cannot be synthesized by the plants. They must get it from the soil. 啊，所以呢，这个矿物质必须从啊、呃、我们的啊、呃、从那个从那个呃泥土啊啊、呃、或者是深海啊那边萃取出来。Because nowadays we grow vegetables and fruits from the same soil again and again, the soil is depleted of minerals. 啊、呃，对，因为我们种植食物嘛，那那个呃农夫们他们都。一直在同一个地方呢啊种植，所以呢，它的里面的那个矿物质成分啊，就相对的越来越少。We need to supplement that. 因此，我们需要补充它们。Velexin has up to seventy over of these minerals in our one serving. 哦，我们的那个威力秀呢，里面有超过七十四种的那个矿矿物质在里面哦。
uh, because of strength, uh, stress in our daily lives and because of that, the hormone, stress hormones changes our blood. Our blood can get very thick, viscous. Uh, this can be corrected only with a lot of enzymes in the food that we take. Today we get our vegetables and fruits which are usually a few days old. And then we cook it at high temperatures, sometimes in the microwave. So we have to take a supplement that contains enzymes. Uh, Velixir has enzymes including the well-known netokinase. Uh, one of the members is uh, saying cooking costs minerals loss also. Uh, if the vegetables are fresh and we cook it, we lose about 10%. If the vegetables are a few days old, and when you cook, you lose 30 to 40 percent. Now, minerals go to form enzymes. So, when you lose minerals, you're also going to lose enzymes. Now, so what we have in Velixir is very adapted to modern day lifestyle. Which is, we have antioxidants, we have micro minerals, and we have enzymes. Uh, this is not to forget the basic vitamins we still need, and Velixir has all of them A, B, C, D, and E. So I would urge those who are not on supplements to start on this and those who are already on other supplements to check and see whether what we were talking about is present in that. So let me list it out again. We have number one, our basic vitamins, minerals, enzymes, antioxidants. Now, 
雕塑，当然还有就是呃高杠铃打击。Okay, um, Vincent, I want to stop here for some questions. Oh sure, um, doctor, maybe because today topic is on the di less uh diabetic, right? So, okay. and diabetic patient actually take uh lecture and how much do they take? Okay. Thank you. 刚问医生啊，刚问医生就是说那个，因为今天的话题是糖尿病嘛，那我们糖尿病呢，病患者呢，呃，他们呃是否合适使用呃糖呃使用威力秀？然后他们如果合适使用威力秀的话，他们应该要怎么样使用，而且要使用多少 ？Now in diabetic patient, the pancreas gland is affected. 在我们的在啊、呃、那个糖尿病患者呢，他们的呃，我们人体的器官叫做胰腺啊，边界啊，他、so, 啊、所以所以他们就是在那个胰腺那个部分呢啊、呃、有影响。Now when the pancreas gland is affected, not only insulin is affected, the pancreas gland also produces enzyme for digestion. 呃，对，那还有这胰腺它受影响的时候，单单它会降低那个呃胰岛素的生产啊，它也会它也会影响到那个呃我人体的那个酵素，我因为我们人体需要消化食物嘛，它也会影它也会影响到那个生产酵素的部分。Because of the lack of the pancreatic digestive enzymes. They do not absorb enough nutrition from their food. 是因为就是刚才我们说的那些呃有影响，所以呢，他们我们在呃他们在吃吃方面呢，吸收呢营养的部分都会大大的降低。呃、uh, ，on top of that, diabetic patients have very high free radical activity, and they need a high dose of antioxidants. 那在那个啊、uh, ，在糖尿病患者当中啊，其实他们身体里面自由基是非常非常高的，啊，所以呢，啊，很肯定的，他们自由基高，就要要消除自由基的话呢，啊，就必须要有大量的那个高氧高抗氧化剂。Because of this, they also have a very low enzyme content in their cells, body cells. 是，那也因为是这样的情况，他们的那个酵素，身体的酵素成分是非常非常的低的。So this is an ideal product for diabetics。所以这个是很非常适合糖尿，因为就是非常适合糖尿病患者使用的。Is this a product that can cure diabetes？ 是不是可以治疗糖尿病呢？ Uh, no, this is a good product to prevent diabetes. Ah, uh, 不是的，啊，它不可以治疗糖尿病，但是，必须可以做到的是，它可以预防糖尿病。So if a diabetic takes Velixir and controls his diet, uh, lifestyle, and takes the right medicine, the control of sugar will be much better. 是，那。糖尿病病人呢，还是可以，而且应该使用维力秀的，因为它可以帮助呃那个呃控制那个血糖，控制的更好。The diabetic will be able to feel the benefit after at least three months of consumption. That's about a hundred days. 呃，那糖尿病患者呢，啊、呃，如果是使用维力秀的话呢，他们大概在一百天之内呢，他们可以看到一些成效。If you have been a diabetic for a long period, I would suggest two sachets one day, one in the morning and one after dinner. 呃，对，如果你是已经长期是有糖尿病的，啊，我的建议是你每天使用两包威力秀，一包在早上，一包是你的晚餐以后再使用一包。Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 好 ，OK， 呃，现在呢，呃 ，OK， we will open up some questions. OK， we still have about ten minutes 啦， so we can open up some question to the view. 呃，你们有什么问题吗？那个
呃，观众朋友，你有什么问题的话，你可以就是有关于我们的产品啊，或者是维力秀啦、健力营啦，呃，什么问题，你可以在这个聊天的部分呢打下来，然后呃，我们可以尽量的一一解答。While we are waiting for questions, let me add that our product, Velixin. Does not have any herbal extract or anything else. Only extract from vegetables and fruits. 是啊，在我们等待问题的当儿呢，我想加，我想加强，就是说我们威力秀的成分全都是全天然的，并没有什么药物成分在里面哦。哦，所以大家都可以很安心、放心的去使用。Hmm. Okay. Questions. <laughs> Today, I think, I think, I think, Doctor. Maybe because you know we have been talking about Malaysia, and uh, and I think they really know how beneficial is uh Malaysia. Right? So, so uh, that's why we are not seeing much question for the day, which is good. Okay. Even consume, even consume Malaysia can still consume back medicine. Uh, yes. Now, uh. Let me turn the question around. Can you take medicine when you're taking normal food? You can. Velixir is only a food supplement, not a herbal supplement. So you can take any medicine with Velixir. 是啊，刚才这边观众这个朋友呢，他就说了啊，那吃那个威力秀呢，能否再吃药嘛？啊，那医生是说是可以的。那医生就问了。问了很有这个观众朋友这个问题，就是说你吃药，你是否还是有吃啊、呃？你你吃药啊，你使用药物，你是否还没有正常使用饭类啊、食物啊？这还是有的啊、呃，对，还是还是有的。那我们威力秀其实也是一个天然的天然，它是一个天然保健品，也是一个天然保健食品，所以是可以呃，可以一起吃，可以一起使用的，嗯。Now there is a, a query whether we should take Velixir before or after a meal. I would say take it after a meal, so that it mixes with the food and more of it can be absorbed. Ah,、uh, 医生的建议呢，在这边呢，呃、uh, ，is that for diabetic patient or Any, for all for everybody? Oh, okay. 医生的建议啦，啊、uh, ，医生的建议呢是啊， uh, 嗯，无论是糖尿病也好。啊，或者是其他人也好呢，他的建议呢是可以跟你在吃吃饭了以后呢，呃，你在使用威力秀，这样的话消化可能会比较好。Now there is also a question as to whether you can take medicine with Velixir. Now it will depend on the medicine. If the medicine can be taken with food, then you can take it with Velixir. But some medicine you have to take it on an empty stomach, then you don't take it with Velixir. That instruction will depend on the doctor who is treating the patient. 嗯，哎，这个是要看药物啊。有些药物呢，它不需要你就是空腹使用啊。那那你就吃了药，你在你在你嗯吃了药先啊，再再再使用维力秀啊。那有一些呢是呃可以一起使用的。啊，那都一，你可以一起吃饭呐、啊，也可以吃药啊。你这这是要看那个药物的那个那个那个那个指示啦，哈、啊，医生会说的。嗯。Sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I take Velixir on an empty stomach. But there are some people who have a sensitive stomach, so if you take it before food, they might feel a little stomach upset. But if you can take it on an empty stomach, it's not a problem. 是，对，医生在这边有说到，威力秀其实你也是能够空腹喝的。刚才他的建议哈，啊、呃、啊、呃，建议是为什么他会这样建议呢？是因为有些顾客有反馈，就是说，哎，可能他喝下去那个威力秀啊，呃，空腹喝下去威力秀，他会觉得肚子有点不适，呃，会有点感觉怪怪的，啊、呃，所以呢，医生的建议是说，啊、呃，如果你是那样的情况的话，你就。跟着你的啊、呃、早餐呐、啊，啊、呃、或者是晚餐呐、啊，一起一起使用
。那我其实我本人，我本人，呃，我相信大众很多人其实其实也是空腹喝，所以空腹喝其实是没有问题，是是很也是很 OK， 也是很 OK 的。但但假设说你在空腹喝下去的时候，感觉一点不适合，你可以跟着你的食物一起使用。Now, some people might ask, "Hey, this one tastes very sweet. You know, can diabetic people take it?" 那有些人可能会觉得说，哎，我们的威力秀好像有点甜哦。啊，那糖尿病到底合不合适呢？因为他们都已经有糖尿了嘛，那糖尿病他们到底合不合适就是使用威力秀了。Now, even a bad diabetic patient, very elderly, will need about thousand five to two thousand calories per day. 那其实啊，一、呃、个那些很高糖尿病患者呢，一些很糟糕的情情况哈、哦，他们也一天也需要一千五到两千卡路里吧。对，那嗯啊 ，one sachet of Velixir is less than seventy calories。那我们一包威力秀里面的那个卡路里呢，其实才早大概七十卡路里而已。嗯。Now, so this will not affect your diabetes. So it has the sugar, the sugar. It will not affect the diabetes patient's sugar level. The sweet taste is because one of our extracts is from the sugar cane. The sweet taste is because one of our extracts is from mango stem. Ah, so our that that weight is a little bit sweet because we have the sugar cane extract. The sugar cane extract is from mango stem. Now my mom has to take injection vitamin B12 every three months. Now uh -huh. start. Uh, now vitamin B injection, uh, vitamin B12, is a little difficult to absorb from the stomach for old people. Now, vitamin B12. Oh, here is a friend. He told me that his mother needs to take every three months vitamin B12. 打一个打那个维生素 B 十二的的针哦，那使用维力秀能够让让他的母亲以后就不用再打一针了吗？那呃，医生他是说，呃，维生素 B 十二其实在老年人，呃，老年人不好吸收维生素 B 十二了，因为他们的胃的关系。So, uh, this person who's taking one injection every three months. I would suggest that they continue. Uh, continue with the injection. That's right. Once every three months. Same, same. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. His uh, advice, 当然就是说，呃，可以，呃，可以继续使用那个，呃，继续给他去去复诊哦，打针。Okay. There's another question that whether Velixir can improve collagen for body. 是，呃，对这个维力秀能够，呃，能够加强 collagen。<笑> Now, collagen is a protein. 对，呃， coll collagen 它是一个蛋白质。啊、uh, ， we don't have protein in Velixir. 我们我们的那个呃维力秀里面没有蛋白质啊。But for the body to use the collagen in your diet. You need the minerals and the enzymes which Velixir supplies. 是，所以虽然说我们维力秀里面没有那个呃 collagen, OK. 抱歉，那中文我一时想不起。哦，胶原 ，OK. 胶原 ，OK. 呃，胶原呃是没有胶原，但是因为你要吸收胶原啊，你可能吃食物啊啊，从呃那些食物啊，有些。美颜啊，你需要你身体需要足够的矿物质，才能够有效的吸收啊。没有这些，没有不矿物质产品，东西都吸收不了的。Okay, now collagen is very important for joints, ligaments, and tendons. 是，胶原是在我们的关节啊的那些部分啊是有是是是重要的。Yeah, so Whether somebody has a knee problem can be due to several reasons. One, not enough collagen. The other thing is there may be uh, alignment problem due leading to excessive wear and tear. Hmm, 好几个因素啦。如果是说在那个呃关节的部分有问
题的话，有好其中一个原因可能是胶原的问题，但也有可能是因为年龄的关系，所以就比较容易感到感觉到不适啊、哦。所以这个可能要请啊、呃，请去查一下，去问看啊、呃，专科啊、呃，查一下。So all knee problems are not due to collagen only. There are other problems also. 是有其他的因素的。Okay, I think, uh, doctor, uh, yes, yes I think we are five p.m. ready. So, okay, uh, okay. 是的，好的。再次，呃，感谢所有呃的观众哈。Okay, uh, thank you, doctor, for your sharing once again. Uh, let us thank give you, doctor a round of applause. Okay, uh, you, the webinar is coming to an end. Okay, uh, but okay, no worries. If let's say you still have any more questions, feel free to write in to us, lah. Write to our email, all right. And uh, if you can, then doctor will call, will will find some time to reply, to to okay. reply to you. Uh, yeah, sure. all right. And also, you can or you can actually prepare some question for future future webinar. You know, so that That's you know, right. doctor yeah. can always uh, uh will will be able to answer you at the, end of the session. Okay. Uh, oh, sure. we will also like to remind everyone about this evening call at seven thirty p.m. as we have uh. We have a Q&A session with our sales director from Taiwan. Okay, Michael, to share with us his experience. Okay, uh, for the past twenty-five years, uh, experience in the industry. So, if let's say you want to fast track your business, you should not miss the call at seven thirty. Okay, okay. Uh, 我们呢，再次以最热烈的掌声呢，啊，感谢我们的医生提供这么宝贵的资讯哈啊，当然也给你们自己一个啊掌声啊。在在在这边呢，听我们的呃演呃演说。好的，我们的线上会议就到这边结束了。那我们也呼吁一下，今天晚上七点半，我们也特别邀请到我们台湾区营业总监呃 Michael 和大家分享他在直销店二十五年的经验。如果你想要快速发展你的那个事业的话呢，一定不要错过今天晚上七点半的会议。我们的一个线呃线上会议的网址。啊，已经放在我们的那个脸书官方脸书 VMA Live， 呃，没有 Facebook.com/slash VMA Live。OK， 你可以在那边呃呃点击就可以进来了哈。啊，也记得呃分享帮忙分享给所有的呃顾客跟伙伴们。好，好的，那我们呃今天晚上啊、呃、我们七点半 OK 再见面喽。OK， 大家下见，拜拜。